Why is it so hard to be consistent at golf? You know that you're swinging over the top and you're chicken winging, but no matter what you do, you cannot fix it. Well, that's exactly what Vladan was doing in today's live lesson. He was very inconsistent. He was scared to hit the driver. By the end of the lesson, he was ripping that driver because we shared with him the number one reason which causes inconsistent golf swings. And look, if you want to get more consistent, you need to watch this lesson. Let's get started. And I think as much as we've seen shots going in different directions there, Vladan, that's the one that I see wants to happen all the time. That shot that goes to the right. And we need to understand what's causing that. And look, we've taken some shots already. We even had a, on the launch monitor, we had one where the club face was 11 degrees to the right. So wow. pointing miles to the right. Mm. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a swap with you. I'm just gonna explain something. If you just jump over there so you can see this, sure. okay. So look, we've got the monster wedge in to really show how this is performing for you, the club face. Because this is the root of all of your bad shots. All of the bad swing faults that you, that you see and the compensations, it's all coming from how you're controlling the club face. So basically what's happening is when you're hitting the golf ball, your club face naturally wants to be pointing miles to the right. That's when you throw in all of these compensations like over the top or early release. They're all there to try and get the face pointing more towards the target. Now, when you over-exaggerate it, you may get it going to the left. The whole purpose of this lesson, the first thing we have to do is get the club face sorted, and then I've got a cool drill that I like to do with a lot of golfers, which can really help you get your arms and your hands working together better. But ultimately, we have to understand why this club face wants to be open. So, jump in here and we're gonna show you. So, let's go into your setup for me if you could. So, without moving your head, Looking at this hand, the left hand, this is a great thing. If you're slicing the golf ball, I want you to, without moving head, tell me how many of these knuckles you can see. I don't see any. I don't see any, <laughs> perfect. You even tried to change it, so maybe you thought, oh, maybe I should see some. There we go. So I'd want you to see this knuckle, mm -hmm. without moving head. I'd want you to see this knuckle, and I want you to see the tight list. Okay. Okay, that's the goal we're gonna do. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go one better. I'm actually gonna go to this. Make it a little bit easier for us. Let's just take this glove off, mm -hmm. and we're gonna put on the me and my golf true glue. True grip glove, easy to say. Yeah, guys, I saw this online. It's perfect. <laughs> That's the only reason I was, was going to buy it. <laughs> I was going to buy it. So it might be a little tight. That's okay. Hey, that's perfect. Actually. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So now you'll notice on this, the main thing we're looking at is this indicator here. So mm -hmm. This is your two knuckles. We want to make sure we can see that. Now, what you will need to bear in mind is when you are building your grip and you're doing this perfectly, but some people at home might not do this. If you're getting your hand from here to here, it's very easy, that thumb can start disappearing. Mm. So we still want the thumb to be going down the right side of the handle, which is exactly what you're doing. So they might feel like they're a little bit closer, but that's beautiful. Okay. Okay. Now we've got a chance of getting that club face not pointing to the, to the right as much. It still could, because you've still got some things going on in the goal swing, but that looks really good. Do me a favor, let go and do it again. But this time we're gonna get you to hit it. So we're just gonna get you hitting a few shots making sure the thumb is in a good place and you can see your two knuckles. It feels strange. It'll feel, I mean, whenever you're doing any grip change, it'll feel horrible. If it feels good, then you haven't changed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it went straight, it went a bit high, <laughs> but it went straight. Let's go again. So there's a good point actually as well here, Vladan, is that you've hit a lot of those shots that have gone straight up in the air, but you've continued to tee the golf ball really, really high. If you keep doing that, just drop it down a little bit. If, that, if that's a recurring problem, adjust. Yeah. you yeah, don't yeah. have to have the ball teed up super high. You don't have to. I love that. Beautiful. All right, let's hit a few more. Wow. Not bad. It's perfect. Almost. It's good. A little bit right. A little bit right yeah. still. Yeah, we still got a bit to go, but that's actually really good. Okay. And we've had a few of these. So what we're going to do, we're going to accelerate this forward now because I actually like where you're going with this. We're not having to do any real effort on this, on this grip. You're doing it really well. So. What I'd like you to do now is just take your setup for me. So we're going to tee it lower. We're going to do one other setup change. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this stick on the ground here is your target line. Okay. This one here is going to be running at 90 degrees to it. This is going to tell you where your ball is positioned relative to your feet. Now, first thing I'm going to ask you, without moving, where do you think that ball should be positioned relative to your feet for the driver? Tough question. Okay. I'm not sure. Ideally further forward. Now think of this. Let's see if we can get my shadow out of the way. So you hold the club for me if you could. So Andy's just going to get a close-up of this golf club. When we swing, ideally the club works on an arc around our body. Okay? Yep. 
as you can see now as I'm swinging back down now the club is swinging out towards the ball so it's swinging down and it's swinging out now if I were to stop here that would be very artificial your ball position would never be here okay but look where the club face is pointing yeah to the right if I stop here to the right mm -hmm. so how is about if we got the ball and we positioned it over there that would mean you'd be hitting it later which means the face would be a little bit more to the left which should be another real good hack to get you hitting the ball better. Mm. So what we're going to do, see this alignment stick here? Yep. I want you to have a very small gap between your lead heel and that stick. Now we are on a bit of a divot there, we might move in a bit, go a bit closer, there we go. Okay, now take your grip, which you've got, actually great. And then let's have a go hitting one, see what happens. Well, that's a lot more like it. Yeah. A little bit of a draw down the left. This might be as much as we need to do, by the way. We'll see. We'll see how good you are at adapting. Beautiful. That's the best one that you've hit. Agree. Yeah, looks good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. That's really good. All right, let's just keep going, make sure it wasn't luck. So just, uh, just a question, how far should I stay from the ball? Like, is it a good distance or? Where you, so just take your setup for me. Where you are? I actually quite like. We could tidy the posture up a little bit, but I'm very mindful of the changes we, we would want to do. But you've got a gap here between your hands and your body. It's a, maybe a little on the large size, that gap is. Mm -hmm. So you could be a little bit too far from it, but that's basically how you shape your posture is. I wouldn't worry too much about that okay. at this stage. The key is, again, don't forget what we said at the beginning. We wanted two things mainly for you to work away, or walk away with today. It would be the grip and the ball position at the moment. So good. You know, considering how I was horrible with my driver, now this is a... Uh, yeah. What? You said you, were, you said you were scared at the start, I'm scared to hit my driver. Yeah, I always teared off with, uh, with my either hybrids or... Five iron even sometimes? Yeah, five iron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, if you want to have a, a lesson, like Vladan is having right now, he's coming all the way from Sacramento, you have to be a YouTube subscriber. So make sure you subscribe for a chance for a golf lesson. Okay, so we obviously know from Vladan's golf swing now, we've kind of sorted the open club face with the grip and the ball position change. We now need to tidy up the rest of the golf swing. So if we look at his driver swing from down the line, we can see that the club is very much above the plane on the way back. So this golf club is very much above the plane on the way back. This is gonna make it very easy for you to cut across it and help create that slice. But you were doing this as, a, as part of your compensations. If you get the club swinging out there, at least you've got a chance of somehow getting it down the left. Let's just see now if we can get you a little bit more on plane though. So just take your setup for me, Vladan. Get yourself ready. We don't need a ball just yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get you to feel this first of all, yeah? So I'm gonna stand here. So just swing the club back for me to waist high area and stop. So this is where you want to be. The mm -hmm. club is quite a bit, the head is quite a bit outside of your hands at this stage when the club shaft is parallel to the ground. Maybe I'd like to see how good it would be if you were here. Because as much as the driver's going really well, we potentially could live with it out here a little bit, but I'd like to get it a little bit nearer. But I think for the irons, this will be the big game changer for you. So what we're gonna do, together, we're gonna swing back with a good grip. You're gonna feel as though the club goes a little bit more around. Beautiful. I didn't have to hardly do anything there. Do that again. Okay. In fact, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to wait for the club to get to me. That's nice. Okay, do that again. Okay, practice that twice more by yourself. Whilst you're doing that, I'm going to put a ball in there. And we'll see what happens when you hit the shot. Nice, good. Okay, do me a favor, actually. Do that again, but don't stop. Go all the way back and all the way through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. And all the way through, all the way through. Okay, interesting. All right, let's see how it goes. So good. It's a deadly weapon now, Andy. That was nice. Tiny draw. It's a deadly weapon, the driver. You should Idiot. not be scared of using that driver. <laughs> no. Like that, that should I'm be not out not anymore. Now. I have to find out who his friends are and if ever they, I'm going to tell them, text me if ever he doesn't pull the driver out. <laughs> I'm even teeing it a little bit higher again now because I think this might work again for you again now. <laughs> Too much thoughts again. Maybe Too much thoughts. You were trying to yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Was, I was thinking about what my backswing is yeah, doing. Right? Too, many, so. too many thoughts. Too yeah, many I thoughts. So. That's, why that's, that's why the rehearsals are so good. Yeah. Do the rehearsals give you feeling and then have and then just, yeah. yeah, let it go. Yeah. There was too much control on that one, actually. Was, that's the you, key thing. I don't know if you saw that. And he was even looking at yeah, the yeah. watch the club go back. 
So let's just talk about it quickly, what Andy said there for everyone watching as well. So set up again for me. I think your objective is make sure the ball position is good, uh -huh. the grip is good, you have a practice swing where you think about it, you check it, you have a look, beautiful, you remember that, but when you hit the shot, you ignore it. Okay. So you just make sure you have a good grip and just hit it. And just do that every time. <laughs> it's now boring. Another hundred or so. <laughs> All right, so look, Vlad Anna's done amazing there. Grip was essential, ball position was essential, and the last thing we did there was obviously getting the club more on plane in the backswing. We can see his old golf swing, it was above plane. There's a high chance you can slice it from there. Now we can see his club is really nice on plane, and it's just going to be a lot more consistent from there. Now, some of the steps we've done with Vlad on there are what we do in Fix Your Slice, our very simple system, which I will guarantee will get rid of your slice. If you're interested in taking part, click the link there or simply download the Me and My Golf app and I know it's gonna get rid of that slice. I think forever. It's got a good chance, forever. <laughs>